One is undying, the other is pure death. It's space zombies versus space skeletons in this episode of 40k in 40 minutes, Death Guard versus Necrons. Greetings, 40K fans, your host, GT, the voice of play on here with a real battle of the heavyweights. Friend of the channel and overhead camera enthusiast, Michael, brings his Necrons to take on the Child of Chaos and Master Spurter Tycho and his Death Guard. I get to play Warhammer today. Hello, everyone. My name is Michael Buckthorpe coming to you with another Necrons game. Today, I'm playing one of my very favorite opponents, Tycho, who is piloting his Death Guard, one of my very favorite matchups in the Play On Studio. We've got a thumping good contest for you today, folks. Let's take a look at the armies. Tycho's army is led by Mortarian, and he's got Typhus in tow, a squad of Plague Marines, a Death Guard Rhino, some Blightlord Terminators, some Death Shroud Terminators, three, count them, three Fetid Bloat Drones, two Mephitic Blight Haulers, three Plague Burst Crawlers, and a squad of Pox Walkers. He's also allied in a couple of Nurgling Swarms to act as Action Monkeys. This is actually a really interesting battle. I think these are the two most diametrically opposed in their like core values, armies, and almost the entire game. Nurgle is about the cycle of life, about bringing things back to the fold as quickly as possible. And the Necrons are stuck in their little corner of death. They want to be in their little box and bring everyone else into their box and be stagnant and dead forever. And I'm not really into that. So we're going to bring the cycle of life and decay those nasty robots. Let them fall to pieces in front of us. Give them the gift of rust and decay. The sheer volume of indirect fire that Tycho can put out with those Plague Burst Crawlers has to have Michael thinking about not even bothering hiding and just running up the board. If he does so, Mortarian and Typhus can seriously chew through his Necron forces. This is an interesting conundrum for Michael. We have a long history, Tycho. I think he's still one up on me if I got my math here correct. Um, it's always a great time because I find that the Death Guard playstyle and the Necron playstyle, it's the immovable object versus the immovable object, and you just kind of mash them together. So it's always fun. I like mashing stuff together. Michael is bringing a Canoptic Court Detachment. He's got a Chronomancer, a Satan Shard of the Nightbringer, a Plasmancer with the Metalodermal Tesla Weave, a Technomancer with Dimensional Sanctum, and a Transcendent Satan. He has two squads of Immortals, one with Gauss Blasters and one with Tesla, a Canoptic Doomstalker, a Canoptic Reanimator, two Canoptic Scarab Swarms, some Canoptic Wraiths, a Doomsday Arc, there's Watson, baby, two single Locust Destroyers, a squad of three heavy Locust Destroyers, and a squad of Tomb Blades. I'm going to be playing the Canoptic Dynasties, which has a lot of uh, Canoptic units in it, first off, but a lot of synergies regarding board control. If I'm able to hold a majority of the objectives, I'm going to get lots and lots and lots of rerolls, which I always enjoy. Michael Satan really pose a problem for Tycho. Having all incoming damage plus a 5-up ignore is making them almost impossible to take down. Don't sleep on the squad of Wraiths, though. That unit is incredibly durable and if Michael jams the middle up with them, could cause Tycho some serious fits. Yeah, I'm super excited about today. This will be a lot of fun. I'm, uh, I'm super, like, I, I love playing hard lists into hard lists, and I really think that Death Guard are pretty good right now. Today's deployment is sweeping engagement, so long table edges with a diagonal deployment. We're playing Take and Hold as our mission today. Standard competitive mission. Five victory points for each objective marker the players control, up to a maximum of 15 per turn. And we're using Chilling Rain. No special secondary rules. This episode is brought to you by Magnet Baron. Magnet Baron is your go-to source for anything magnetic. Whether it be Warhammer, Age of Sigmar, Star Wars Legion, X-Wing, or any other game, Magnet Baron probably has the magnets you need. They even have pre-packaged kits for your favorite models. Whether it be disc magnets, block magnets, sphere magnets, or ring magnets, Magnet Baron has got you covered and in the strongest triple-coated N52 neodymium available. If you need a magnet for your next project, make sure to check out MagnetBaron.com and don't worry if you're not in the USA, they ship worldwide. Now, back to the action. Zinko. Michael has chosen to put both single destroyers in reserve. His Chronomancer is joining the Tesla Immortals. His Plasmancer is joining the Gauze Immortals. 
and the Technomancer with the Wraiths will be infiltrating thanks to that enhancement. Tycho's placed Typhus with his Blightlord Terminators. His two units of Nurglings are in reserve. He started five Plague Marines in the Rhino. Me first, eh? Scarabs. And it's a hauler. Another Scarab Swarm going right over here. Three Tomb Blades. Ooh. Brains. Terminators. I'm gonna put my Canoptic Reanimator. Holla. Let's bring the big boy out to play. Oh, oh I see. Doomsday Arc is down. Let's do drones. Drones! In the building. So they can see. Yeah, first my Katan's gonna go right over here. Oh! All right, the speediest of all the Terminators, Typhus himself. Nightbringer's gonna go over here. Having a look at deployment here, Michael's really clustered around that one big ruin with almost some distraction type units on his right flank. Thus, Satan is incredibly hard to take down, so having it run solo isn't a bad thing. Tycho's really deployed in a bit of a full court press here. Mortarian is dead middle and ready to rumble. If Tycho goes first, he could really hem Michael in. Good luck. This is Good the luck. important role. This, yes, this is, it. This is, is it. for who goes first. Oh, 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 Looks like Tycho's got first turn. Here we go. This is actually a pretty big deal. I'm going to be able to do some hopefully lasting damage because I actually have a very shooty Death Guard list. Command phase. I go to a command point. I oh. believe you do too. Yes, and I stinkify this objective. You stinkify. Tycho chooses Disease Influence for Mortarian. That's going to give reroll wound rolls of one near him. He's pulled Engage at all fronts and bring it down. Do, 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 do. Movement phase, Michael using reactive subroutines for one command point. Those wraiths are going to get to move up to six inches as Tycho got within nine of them. That's a neat stratagem. Do, 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 do. Do, do, do. Well, let's advance some poxwalkers. Advancing. Mortarian, Typhus, and the Blight Lords have jammed up the middle of the board. I'm managing to make it onto all those middle objectives. Uh, that means that I'm going to put enough pressure on the Necrons to force them into difficult target priority scenarios. Yes, yes. Plague Marines hop out to hold yet another objective. Okay, scoot up right there. Here they come, boys. Death Shroud advance. Drones are flitting about to try to get into position. All right, we're going to start with some split fire. Opening up with Mortarian, shooting the Canoptic Doomstalker and the Gauze Immortals. Here comes the Lantern. Let's do it. He hits on a two. Three wounds off the Doomstalker and maximum shots into the Immortals. Four ups. Four bolters. Okay. The Blight Lords have gunned down a few more Immortals. But let's do my... Plague Marines next. Okay. Plague Marines now. Can he down the unit? Not yet. I got one left. All right, let's do the Rhino. Let's do it. Havoc Launcher. The Rhino has picked them up. That is a bit surprising. Michael has already lost an entire squad of Immortals. Missile Launcher from my Mythic Blight Hauler into your Panoptic Stalker. Mephitic Blight Hauler swings and misses. Oh, that's not good. This guy's missile will pat your Stalker. Okay. Oh no! The second one has as well! So much for Melta! So the drone's gonna go after your Stalker. Drones are trying to take down that Doomstalker, and those Field of Pains are not helping! This drone who can only see your Stalker. Okay. Launcher! <laughs> two wounds minus two. Pass them both. Let's see if I can pull down Watson. Plague Burst Crawler into Watson, the Doomsday Arc. Only a single wound! Twelve wounds remain. And I'll slug away at him. Why not? One wound. 
Uh, fail it. Got a six up shrug, which I pass to. Oh, 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 look at that. So I only take a singular wound. Empty into four Watson. Watson. Entropy cannons. Oh, that's pride. Yes. Oh, just a wound. Command reroll the wound on Watson. Make one fail one. Five, six up shrugs. So I shrug one. So four damage goes through. Nine, Nine wounds remaining on Watson. The mortar. No, who wants it? Pass them both. And the sluggy slug, because why slug. not? <laughs> <laughs> Look not at that, that, a hit. Aha. He ah, wounds. Ah, ah. <laughs> <laughs> the Do sluggers of doom. No, I don't. <laughs> no, you Ugh. don't. Plague Burst Crawler right back here. I'm going to shoot straight at your Doom Stalker. Here he comes. Yep. And the Slugger of Doom. Yep. Watch. Yeah. Oh, the Canoptic Doom Stalker is down to five wounds remaining. That was actually a pretty solid shooting phase. I managed to kill an entire unit of Immortals. Sweet. I was going to try for a charge, but there's no more Immortals. I was just going to say. <laughs> Tygo has scored engage at all fronts for three secondary, is discarding Bring It Down for a command point. That leaves us at a score of 3 nothing in the favor of Tycho halfway through the first turn. tycho has got a command point, and Michael has none. Bottom of turn one. Michael's turn one, Tycho to two command points, Michael to one. He's pulled extend battle lines and capture enemy outposts. Not a great start. Command phase, let's start with some battle shock tests, which cannot do soccer. I believe he is leadership eight. Ooh. He <laughs> Reanimation protocols and healing occurs, undoing all of Tycho's hard work. He puts him at 13 wounds, so he's got one wound taken. Doomstalker heals a two. So he's got seven wounds remaining on the Doomstalker. Basically three inches forward. Beep. Like so. Two blades are being sneaky sneaky. They're looking to grab that right flank objective. I'm just gonna back up here. My scarabs are gonna advance. An extra oh. inch. Fly their way over the Stalker. And same kind of thing, Transcendent. It's gonna go right over here, flies over top. The Pale One. Immortals are gonna advance. Seven inches forward. Oh, fairly tentative movement overall for Michael. It looks like he's okay taking advantage of those canoptic court bonuses in his own zone. So, shooting phase then. Uh, start off with Plasmancer. He's going to huck some mortal wounds, hopefully, into your. Thingy majiggy there. Plasmancer ships a couple wounds off the plague drone. So transcendent Catan, I'm going to target the plague marines in the back. Yo! Assault and sustained heads. Transcendent Catan wounds the plague marines. Nightbringer, gaze of death into the Typhus Terminator squad, kills one of the Terminators. So Canoptic Doomstalker has D6 plus one and they are blast. Are you five models? I am five models still. So you get plus one. Doomstalker targeting the same squad, eight wounds at minus three AP. I need some uh, Nurgle goodness to hold with my invulnerable saves here, else I will not have many models left in the middle here. Uh oh. But only two dead Terminators. Somebody check his dice! Heavy Destroyers into Mortarian now, flat six damage. I'm gonna re-roll that three. Okay. Command, re Command re-roll. Can his luck hold? Yes. Oh, it does! Who am I my saves? The Barbican plate holds! <laughs> Flare array from Watson into the Poxwalkers, the big gun of the Plague Burst Crawler. Hitting on threes, lethal hits. Of course. I ignore none of them. Watson's gonna open up. He has D6 plus one shot. There's a four. Two. Uh, but I am just as 10. I save one. Eight wounds left. Let's do my Tesla Immortals because I want to see what they can do. And I'm going to put them all into... Plopper three. Plopper three, there we go. <laughs> Plopper three. Tesla Immortals now, holy shots, Batman. 21 wounds. Ooh, that's bad. Uh, this drone is not long for this world. Come on, little drone, you can do it. Uh-oh. Apparently Tycho knows how to roll dice. That was 19 of 21 three-up saves. What in the actual HE double hockey six? Ah! I can't say that making that many saves is, is reasonable at all. I kind of you got that right. I kind of feel terrible. So uh, feel bad. Michael, I'm gonna go find some models for you. Will that make you feel better? Maybe. 
Well, I was gonna move forward, now I think I'm moving backwards. And they fall back five after all of that! Wow! Let's do some shots then with my uh, race, because they do actually come equipped with pistols now. Poxwalkers take nothing from those particle casters. Editor, can you put some sad violin music for me, please? Like, just some really... Two plates now, particle beamers, two dead plague marines, and the evasion engrams lets them fall back after shooting. Auto Michael's charge phase, Wraith charging the Poxwalkers, drone, and Plague Burst crawler. That's a big roll. It's gonna let it work. It could be big. Transcendent is gonna go into this plopper one. Plopper one. Oh boy, here comes the Catan. That's gonna be a tall drink of water. I, uh, I hope he doesn't make his charge. How about an eight? An eight will do. On the objective. Wraiths first, two into the Poxwalkers, remaining four and Technomancer into the drone. Into the Poxwalkers first. I'm hitting on fours, but I'm re-rolling ones because of my Canoptic roll. That's good. Oh, winning on threes. Ready? Four dead Poxwalkers. Uh, then the other ones. Yeah. Now to the drone, takes the Plague Drone out of four wounds. I have eight attacks with my Catan of the Transcendentness. Twos. Transcendent Satan into yet another drone, 11 wounds, down she goes! Striking back with my drone! Tycho attacking back into the wraiths, no joy! Um, I've got some Plague Marines. Plague Marines now into the Transcendent Satan, only one wound back! Turn is over. Wasn't as hurtful of a round from the Necrons as I was thinking it would be. I have lost a drone, I've lost some Terminators, but on the whole, I'm feeling pretty healthy about where I stand at the end of round one. Extend battle lines are scored, capture enemy outpost is discarded, and the end of turn one score is five to three in favor of Michael. All right, round two. Now to grind them down. I go up to two command points. I go to three. Poxwalkers have failed battle shock. All else passed, that's not bad. So I'm gonna stankify a couple of objectives. Thank you. Disease influence continues. Reroll once to wound aura on Mortarian. Tycho draws capture enemy outpost and extend battle lines. 15 primary jumps Tycho out to 18 to 5. This is kind of putt, 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 putt. Hello. Mortarian moves up to take a run at capture me outpost. I've got a really cool opportunity here to punch through with Mortarian and take the enemy home base. It's gonna be huge. The Plague Marines have fallen back from the Transcendent Satan. Mephitic Blade Haulers move up. The Nurglings are still staying off for a turn. Transcendent Satan is getting targeted by the closest Mephitic Blight Hauler. No effect. All right, so the Terminators are gonna spurt all over the town. Okay. Death Shroud into the same target. Not much effect at all. I am at a eight wounds remaining. All right. The Rhino. Plague Combi Bolters. Okay. Back to fire two, I've got two of them. And then sixes. Pass one, fill one. Down to seven. And the Havoc Launcher. It wounds. I won. Nope. Down to six wounds. Well, let's lantern the um, Nightbringer. Okay. Thunderous Fart the Swarm. The lantern misses. Helping out. Seven, rerolling by one. Uh, I make one. So one base has two wounds remaining. The Psychic on the Catan. Three. Whew, two wounds off the Nightbringer. Mortarian kind of pooped the bed there. Plague Burst Crawler number one into the Immortals and Watson the Doomsday Arc. Mortar kills one, no hits on Watson. So my Crawler that's beleaguered over here. Yep. Put his Entropy Cannons into the Nightbringer. Okay. His Mortar into your Immortals. Okay. And the Slugger into the Immortals. Okay. Plague Burst Crawler number two misses with the Entropy Cannons again. Mortar into the Immortals, kills one. Battleshock again passed. And my last drone will go after this shard over here. Not as good as his round one, that's for sure. The resilience of the Necrons is really coming on strong here. I'm not able to actually push through the damage I was hoping for. The shooting phase was not as bad as it could have been. I feel like some of that energy that Tycho was portraying earlier with his saves didn't translate over to his damage. Very nurgly of him, I approve. Moving along to charge. Let's do it. Let's start with the big one. Mortarion into the destroyers. Mortarion. 
Oh no, Mortarian's charge fails. Grandfather, give me the eight. Let me fight. Command reroll, he's in. Ah! That's a nine. Oh, he got it. <laughs> uh, stinky. Um, gross, disgusting, I hate it. I obviously want to be like close like this. Yeah. Michael using heroic intervention on the Nightbringer for two command points and he's in. Rhino charges the Transcendence of Tan. He's in. Vroom. We're gonna charge with the Hauler. The Vinic Blight Hauler's in. I don't like the fact that my Transcendent Catan is now surrounded by a lot of very angry, very stinky, and very uh, gummed up looking uh, individuals. I have a bad feeling about this. I just hope he can survive. Death Shroud Terminators make their charge as well. Blight Lord Terminators charge the Wraith Squad. They are in. Terminators, terminate. Let's let's do more Tarion. All right, let's do it. Four go into the Destroyers, one goes into the Nightbringer. The Destroyers are dead, and the Nightbringer takes two wounds down to eight. Terminators, terminate. Attacking the Wraiths. Okay. Tyrus and crew into the Wraiths. Bounce. Dang, they are tough. Terminators over here. All right, I'm going to sweep because you have my damage, and you have lots of involves and not really any armor, I think, right? Death Shroud into the Transcendence of Tan. Manages to take it down to one wound. All right, the gnashing maw of the hauler. The Blight Hauler now does nothing. Get your camcorders. This is when Mike flips the table. <laughs> Mike calls this shot. The Rhino takes the Satan out. Is he right? Nope. Prophecy is for Eldar, not Necrons, Michael. And the enslaved Star God lives on. All right, let's start punching back. <sighs> Wraiths now splitting the attacks. Three into the drone, three in the Technomancer into the Terminators, and the drone is only down to two. Poxwalker survives and will fight back. And I pass. Eight attacks, and these are all gonna go into your Death Shroud Terminators. Twos. Transcendent Satan has slaughtered the Death Shroud. Whoa! Nightbringer. Nightbringer has six attacks. Nightbringer now. Command reroll on a save for Tycho. That's huge. That saves D6 plus two wounds. Ignore on fives. Wow. 15 remain. Mortarian down to 13 wounds after the drain life ability of the Satan Shard of the Nightbringer. Well, actually, I managed to weather that pretty well. Mortarian is standing up. And turn two has seen Tycho jump out to a remarkable lead. 13 points on secondaries gives him 16 secondary, 15 primary, up 31 to 5. It's so the start of bottom of turn two for me. I'm going to first tick up, I will have two command points. Michael's drawn behind enemy lines and secure no man's land. Not easy to do, but both eminently possible. Battle shocks are passed. Now we're gonna start to reanimate. Wow, reanimation protocols are really helping Michael out. The Transcendent is back to four wounds. Nightbringer is back to 10. The Doomstalker back to 10. Watson is full. The Scarabs are back to full. Oh, there's an average roll. Only one immortal though. I don't know, that is pretty impressive. That's gotta feel bad, undoing all that hard work. He's coming back everywhere. 10 points on primary puts Michael to 15 points as we move to his movement phase. Advancing my Tomb Blades for a six. Nice. Yes, there we go. The Tomb Blades have advanced to score behind enemy lines. If his Scarabs can get in, he's gonna score max behind enemy lines. Oh, it's a success. That's big. They got it as much as I possibly can. Uh-oh. Something like that. Just, nobody was calling him on it before. Canoptic Tomb Spider moves out. Looks like Mortarian might be in trouble. Canoptic Reanimator has moved up to get a line on Mortarian as well. You're moving to here, essentially, and you're going to point in his direction and go, that guy, that guy, get him. Uh, yeah, we're just gonna go over to here, <coughs> one, one inch away, basically. Like They're going for the auto charge? Yeah, pretty much. Then we're gonna bring a singular destroyer on. Michael brings in one destroyer in on his own board edge. Ooh, interesting move with the destroyer. I'm not exactly sure what he's up to, but he's got some play there. Plasmancer is gonna point at your plague marines and go. We're so friendly. Hugs. So far one. Plasmancer has mortal wounded a plague marine. So the locust destroyer goes into the same target. Uh oh. Oh, the destroyer kills two more plague marines. The Transcendent Catan is going to put all of his tendrils, six shots. Transcendent Catan now try to wipe those marines, succeeds! Oh, the Plague Marines are down! That kind of throws a bit of a wrench into my plan. 
was really hoping they'd stand up just a little bit longer. Nightbringer gazes at Mortarian and Mortarian shrugs it off. Not today, false god. Tesla Immortals going into uh -oh, Mortarian. This is, this is the bad news bears. Yes, so there are seven of them. Rolls. Immortals take Mortarian down to 12 wounds left. The Chronomancer, who has not got shot yet. Chronomancer fires into the Plague Burst Crawler, no joy. Watson is gonna put his Flare Array into Mortarian in the backfield, hoping some lethal hits will come through, and then he'll fire his Doomsday Cannon into Ploopy Mortar thingy. Watson's Flare Array first into Mortarian. Flare Array wounds Mortarian three times, but he shrugs it. Doomsday Cannon into the Plague Burst Crawler, 12 wounds and takes it out. Come on, boom! Boom! Watson one shot at the Blight Hauler in front of him. That is exactly what Watson can do when he is turned on. Wait, what? Doomstalker is going to fire. Canoptic Doomstalker targeting the Mephitic Blight Hauler. Only one wound, but it's saved. Let's do some pistols from my Wraiths. Wraiths really cleaning up that combat. 18 pistol shots into the Terminators and Typhus, and they take down one Terminator to a single wound, starting to thin that out. Charges to me. Let's do some charges, yeah. We do, we do. Charge phase now. Locust fails the 11 inch charge. Charge number two, Scarabs going into Mortarian. Oh no. Scarabs have targeted Mortarian, they're in. The spider is into Mortarian. So charging, these Scarabs will go first. But first, I explode. Michael choosing to explode a Scarab Swarm takes Mortarian down to nine wounds, but that's all that they manage. Let's try the Tomb Spider and see what he does. He never gets into close combat. He always dies before this, so this is interesting. He's made it. Force, fives. Nope, that's a one, one, and a two. That's Ooh. about as well as I expected. Oof. Your turn for ongoing. I bet Morty's got to go before he can't, so. Okay. Tiger goes three into the spider, two into the Nightbringer. Spider goes down, but Nightbringer is still up. I'm going to elect my Transcendent. Right. Transcendent to Tan, all under the Blade Hauler now, and eviscerates it. Terminators, Bubotic Blade. Bubotic Blade, that's three hits. Five. Oh, no. Nada. Managed two wounds on one Wraith, good lord. Down goes one finally, and another one's down to one wound. That unit is oh, oppressively tough. I'm gonna attack with my Wraiths next. Five Wraiths now, three to the drone, two plus the character to Typhus, and the boys. On fours. Okay. Drone dies, but the Termi's whole. Poxwalker. A Poxwalker fails. With his armored tracks, let's drive over a wraith. Vroom, vroom! Vroom, vroom. I hit. <laughs> vroom, vroom. Vroom. Plague Crawler fails to hurt the wraiths. Come on, Nightbringer. Go, go, Night Ranger. Oh boy, Nightbringer might down Mortarian. Nightbringer, Mortarian. Who has the better scythe? It's me. Yeah. Thanks for talking me into it. Yes! Two devs, two invulns. Damn it. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Command reroll on the one, does 10 wounds to Mortarian, feel no pain, saves two, one left on Mortarian, but Satan Nightbringer gets to drain life for a wound, five up to live. Mortarian lives! Oh, Mortarian lives another round. Solid turn for Michael. He's clawed his way back in here, scores both secondaries to take him to 15 secondary, 10 primary for 25-31 as we head to Tycho's turn three. Well, it seems like things are swinging back the other way. Hopefully I can hang on to my lead in round three. It's start of turn three. We're in turn three already. 10 points on primary, jumps Tycho to 41. He's pulled cleanse and secure no man's land. It could be tough to do both of these. Both players, two command points. Mortarian will reroll his ones. That's, that's fun. Hold the line seems the goal for Tycho here. That's not a bad idea at all. Michael doesn't have a ton of forward pressure left, and if he can just hold on to the middle, he's gonna win this game on primary. Plague Burst Crawler rolling back to protect his home objective. End of my turn, my moving phase. Yep. I'm gonna bring in... Nurglings, deep strike into the center of the board. They cleanse that center objective. Both squads are gonna gum that middle up real good. Moving to the shooting phase. Yep. Well, let's try and take down that Catan. Shooting phase now, Blight Hauler targeting the Transcendent Satan does nothing. Rhino shooting the Satan with Bolters and Havoc Launcher goes into the Tomb Blades. Ooh, there he goes. He got nothing in the Tomb Blades, but the Satan has taken a wound. Plague Burst Crawler, Entropy Cannons, and I guess the Slugger into the Catan. And the Mortar, I will fire into your Tomb Blades. Okay. Here come the Entropy Cannons. 
Two hits, one lethal. Plague vs. Crawler, two wounds on the Transcendent Satan. He fails both saves, no reroll. Tycho command rerolling his damage. One into a six is seven, half to four. Two field no pains. Oh boy, he's gone. That's huge. Confusing as heck. Upshot, dead Transcendent Satan. The Mortar. Yep. Boom. That's five. T5. Ooh, four. Make none. And then draw two damage each. I die. Ooh, the Tomb Blades are dead. So I'm going to go after your your uh, Plasma Master, Entropy Cannons, and cannon and uh, Slugger. Into, into the main. Got it. Here come the Entropy Cannons. Okay. One hit. Second Plague Burst Crawler now. Entropy Cannons into the Nightbringer with Stubbers, and Michael makes the saves. The Mortar. Boom. One. And T4. Wounds. I know. He's got two wounds remaining. Well, Tarion has not shot. He's going to shoot backers with a pistol. Okay. And then he's going to thunderous fart at your immortals. Lantern! Mortarian whiffs against the destroyer, but Rot wins the immortals and kills only three. Terminators are in combat, meaning I cannot shoot, but Typhus can. Typhus is just going to pick the race. Okay. Oh, Typhus has done three wounds to himself. Oh, no. That shooting phase was not spectacular. I'm not having the hotness of my first round. We go to the charge phase. Let's do it. Well, I'll charge you with a Blight Hauler. Blight Hauler needs a nine to reach the destroyer. It fails. Uh, you get to pick the first on going. Tan's gonna swing, because I told you we need to have a scythe off. Mm. And the you've been- scarabs have been interfering slightly, but it's gonna be a scythe off. On two. Only two wounds done to Mortarian, but he fails both saves. 12 damage, he needs to make 12 five ups. Down he goes! Down goes Mortarian. Everything is going well. I just hope that the Nightbringer in my deployment zone isn't too far away to affect the rest of the battlefield. I will pick Terminators. Bubotic Axe. Fails to fail still. <laughs> Typhus, my man. Typhus sweep attacks and Michael saves it all. Oh no, you're not gonna do it to me, are you? You're gonna do it to me too? Oh, he does it to me! He does it to me! Oh, man! Checking back. I have the Wraith. One Wraith into the Poxwalker. The rest go into the Terminators. All right, Poxwalker, let's kill him first. Threes. Two damage upon Ah! These are now hitting on fives, but I'm rerolling once. First. Hey, two oh, damage upon Oh, no. He's dead. He's yep. dead. He's dead. What a, what a poor fella. Whew, what a big, big turn that was. Eight more points on secondaries puts Tycho to 24 secondary, 25 primary. 49 to 25, he extends his lead. I am really worried that I have let a victory slip away from me, and these Necrons are just too tough to get through. So start of command phase, I'm gonna tick up to three command points. Michael now, new secondaries, cleanse and area denial. Immortals have passed Battleshock. Four Immortals return to the unit. Thank you, reanimation protocols. The Doomstalker is back to full strength. Nightbringer is back to full. Wraiths are fully healed, and the Scarabs are back to full. 10 points primary though, sees us 49-35 as we head to Michael's movement phase. So Watson will move. Watson the Doomsday Arc rolling up to get a shot on the Rhino. The Immortals advance a total of seven inches. Is Nurgle watching? That's his number. Scarab Swarm's doing their chittering best. And then this guy's moving straight six towards you. I think this is just gonna go over here. I'll just hang tight. So I go eight to here. Locust moves up, fetid bloat drone overwatches. Lethal hits are great, but no joy. Tiger to one command point. So insurance. So let's go to the shooting phase. I'm gonna start with Watson. Watson's gonna see if he can secure with the Doomsday Arc, or Doomsday Cannon over here. Rhino getting targeted. Tycho using Cloud of Flies for his last command point. Saves him from Watson. Watson pulls up, lines up a mighty shot, and he whiffs that one. He's gonna make the attempt. How many shots? Doomstalker now, re-rolling on a two-wound roll, and the Rhino to four wounds left. I'm gonna shoot destroyer number one into the same target. Okay. On one. three, objective though. So I hit everything, five. Not with that attitude. Nope, try, try again with the second one. Two lethal hits at minus two. The lead locust has killed the Rhino. 
Unit of Wraiths are gonna cleanse the objective. They don't need to fire their pistols. My Tesla Immortals, uh, we're gonna shoot four guys into your okay. uh, hauler over here. Tesla Immortals targeting the Blight Hauler, no joy. Nightbringer is going to give the bombastic side eye to that same Blight Hauler. Gaze of death from old Nightbringer takes the Blight Hauler down to a single wound. Let's do charges. Charge from here to here, looking for a five. How about a six? As kind of discussed, aiming to go like that. Nightbringer into your Nerglings. I'm looking for a six or higher. That's a six. Nightbringer charges in. Scarabs are gonna try, I think I can only do a multi-charge because I'm gonna have to try going over here. Um, let's see what I get. How about a six? Multi-charge into both of the Nerglings kind of a thing, like so. I don't think, sorry, I didn't need to touch that. And the hauler as well. I'm going to elect the Scarabs to fight. Okay. And I'm gonna put all the attacks into this Nergling squad behind here. Got it. Sixes. So, four wounds. I saved one of them. Nightbringer will go next. Nightbringer has swept away two bases. Then the other Locust. I'm gonna have to try and not kill you. <laughs> Don't do it. Don't do it. Oh. The Locust fails to wound the Mephitic Whitehaller. Actually, Typhus will go first. Why not? You said no, and Typhus fails again. This flail. Terminators have only managed a single wound on a wraith. One is gonna go into the Blight Hauler, because it has to, and the remaining four and the Technomancer are gonna go into your, your um, Terminators. Oh, a Terminator goes down to the Wraiths. I'm really enjoying how tanky these Wraiths are. As you may have seen, they really aren't killing anything anytime quickly. However, it's a slow grind, one that Tycho is apt to not enjoy spending time with Necrons that just keep coming back. That's my favorite part. Typhus has been failing, but I've been failing him. Typhus should have had a command point to do a challenge to that Technomancer, and then I would have had a chance of hurting some wraiths. As it's been, this has just been a slog. I, I think I just need to, to, to tap out. Those wraiths have got me. Got me cold. Into your tank. Oh. Tank says, ouch. Two. Goes down to four. Let's, let's eat a Nightbringer. Let's do it. I do not hit. And on the other side. The other one. Fight through. All right. Nerglings chew away the scarabs and a base goes down. And now I'm gonna nibble on your destroyer man. I call him. Mephitic Blight Hauler wounds the destroyer, but that's all. End of the fight phase. Nightbringer is gonna look at both units of Nerglings. Uh -oh. So the one he's attached to. Drain Life kills the Blight Hauler and seriously wounds a Nergling base. Michael's kept area denial and he scores three points on cleanse 38-49 as we head to Tycho's turn four. It's been a great opening of the game, but I fear that Michael is clawing his way back in. It's concerning. Start of turn four, Tycho. Assassination. Oh. Investigate signals. Ooh. Spend my command point on new orders. Okay. Overwhelming force. But I have some battle shock to take. Yep. On the tank. I'm all right. On the Nurgling. No, he's super battle shocked. But he can pop out and be like. Typhus falls back here. Plague Wars Crawler rolls up and gets on the center objective. Drone is taking the left flank objective and trying to hide a bit. I'm going to fall back with the Nurgling in uh, the battle shock Nurgling. Nurgling falls back and dies because of it. Desperate breakout is a thing. So I just got to kill the, the Nightbringer with one Plague Burst Crawler. Let's start two entropy cannons okay. into the Nightbringer. Here we go. To start the festivities. Plague Burst Crawler does nothing to the Nightbringer. That is not good. Drone Boy is going to take out the Destroyer. Drone into the Destroyer. Down it goes. Plague Burst Crawler over here. Can I finally take out Watson? Let's try that. Try to down Watson now with entropy cannons. No joy. Mortar strips him down to nine. Typhus is going to gonna yell at your scarabs because reasons. Yeah, hi, mini noy. Hey, there's a one. <laughs> He's gonna do it. He's gonna kill himself. Do it. All right, here we go. Five or six. <laughs> and he takes more wounds. Typhus. Oh. I am starting to hate Typhus almost as much more as Mortarian does. You fight first with your swimmies. I do. I should blow it. I'm going to blow a guy up. Scarab explodes. It does two mortals to the Nurglings. One base on one wound left. Is it mad? Two wounds. I say 
I take two wounds. Yeah. Down to one on this base. Excellent. Still basing along though. I will fight with the Plague Burst Crawler before I can't. Plague Burst Crawler now, nothing. Nerglings, Nurgle things. Nerglings hurt the Scarab Swarm. Then I'm gonna attack with my Wraiths into your Plague Burst Crawler. I'm heading on fours, I roll. Nope. You bet. <laughs> All right, that's that. Tycho discarding assassination for a command point gives him one. He's got overwhelming force for three, 57 to 38 as we head to Michael's turn four. So start of my turn. Michael has to use the same bravery here on the Scarabs to try and catch Tycho. Wraiths come back and character heals him to full. That unit has held the entire game. These guys. Uh, I get two of my Immortals back, which brings them now to full strength. And I get a single wound back on the Scarab, so Scarab goes to three remaining. He's pulled Engage on all fronts, and he still has Area Denial. 48-57 in favor of Tycho. Uh, this guy here is going to advance. Single Destroyer moves up. Scarabs fall back. Michael hoping to pull this out on turn five, I think. Nightbringer goes up and over the wall. These Immortals are going to advance. For a three, We're moving eight. Immortals running up to be some late game annoyance. Let's do shooting phase. Watson is going to obliterate Typhus from is he now? the planet. I think he's going to survive. Poor Typhus. Watson, the doomsday arc is about to pace him. Oh, Tycho only fails one save, re rolling, and he succeeds. He lives for now. All of the immortals at this. Fended drone. Blue drone. Yes. Let's explode. Down to seven wounds remaining. All right. So I'm going to move these guys because I keep forgetting to do that. Chronomancer's fire and fade ability. We're going to take the Doomstalker and he's going to put him into the same uh, target. Let's for the big gun. Three. Still. I re roll thanks to arc. Threes. It's two wounds, sir. Can't die. Nope. Ooh, take them both. Down to one. Nightbringer is going to gaze of death into the Nurglings. So, how many shots? That's a problem for me. That's a hit. That's a wound. That is a. I saw it too. That's a super dead one. Ice this tank with the pistol shots from the Wraiths. Ooh. Wraiths pistol the Plague Burst Crawler. Tycho fails a save and it takes a devastating wound. The Plague Burst Crawler dies. Charge phase. Okay. I think Nightbringer's charging back into your Blight Puller. Nightbringer charges the Plague Burst Crawler. He's in. Watson's going to charge into... Uh, oh no, yep. poor Typhus. Typhus, yep. Uh, seven, that'll do. Are you tank shocking him? Yeah. Boo. Watson tank shocks poor Typhus. Command reroll on the Wraith charge, nine. That's in. That might wrap the game up. Combat phase, Nightbringer. See if he can just wallop it. So six attacks. Oh, the Nightbringer's only taking the tank to six wounds. If the Wraiths kill the tank, that should be game as Michael will have complete board control. Take on threes. Take one, down to four. I will discard area denial and I will score three points on engage on all fronts. All right. 51-57 in favor of Tycho as we head to turn five. I'm up to two command points. Tycho has to use insane bravery on the drone to score five points on primary. He does score 10 points primary to take him to 40 primary, sitting at 27 secondary with storm hostile and defend stronghold. I'm just gonna like, like body block you from it. Sure. I will advance my drone. Oh, look at him go, so he can go right here and be super annoying. So the Nurgling can drop off the building to here. And I will overwatch it. Okay. Nurglings are being overwatched by the Tesla Immortals. Ben. Oh, I'm gonna chuck one of these, so I'll have two command points. That's it for Tycho scoring. He sits at 67, potentially 70, as Michael sits at 51. If Michael can take Tycho's home objective and get the right secondary draw, then this could be the end of the game as Tycho can't stop Michael from scoring 15 points on primary. Michael has drawn assassination. Tycho has no characters left in his army that automatically will score an extra five points. 
is the Nightbringer goes six inches forward, which goes to about here. So I'm gonna roll a dice. I'm gonna advance my scarabs for three. So they move 13 inches to here. Should do that. So one in range. One in range. I just need to get my Technomancer who flies. Doomstalker into your Plague Burst Crawler. How many shots does he have? He has three shots. He's hitting on threes, re-rolling. He hits everything. He's winning on threes. I have wounded you twice. Both saves, that's cool, love that. Uh, let's do the Gaze of Death. He has one shot. He hits on a two, and he wounds with a six. You fail, that is D6 plus three wounds. You've taken five oh, wounds. Shocker. And that is game time. Two more kills for Michael. That's a nine points on secondary, takes him to 30, 45 primary, 85 points to 77 points in favor of Michael with the fifth turn comeback. Excellent. Good, well played. Well done. 12 points are all that's in it, but that feels like a one point game. Those dice rolls were crazy. The back and forth was fantastic. Incredibly well played. Congrats, Michael, on the victory. And Tycho, you gave it everything you had. But today, Nurgle just wasn't watching. Very, very good game to my opponent. I always appreciate playing against Tycho. It's always a blast. Yeah, thank you so much for tuning in, folks. Thank you to Magnet Baron for being our fantastic sponsor. And thank you to you, our fantastic viewers. Uh, I really hope that this game was as fun for you as it was for us. We had a blast shooting it. Uh, I love losing a game that was that close, that intense, came down to little tiny things. I thought I had them, but he took it and uh, beautifully done. Special thanks to this episode's sponsor, Magnet Baron. Make sure to check them out at the link below or go to magnetbaron.com for all your magnetizing needs. Also, if you like what we do, please feel those like and subscribe and share. Or if you'd like to, please consider supporting us on Patreon or YouTube. You'll get exclusive releases as well as behind-the-scenes interviews, early access to most of our shows, and access to our Discord, the most happening 40k community around. That's it from us at Play On Studios. On behalf of everyone, this has been your host, JT The Voice, saying, until the next time you see us in the far-flung future of a grimdark universe, play on. Outro music.